hey guys we're uh, off on another adventure just a little short one a little three-day adventure wife and daughter have plans I've been under a lot of stress lately just wanted to get out weather's not pretty good but you know what going out anyways so we're gonna be driving down into uh, central Oregon in the Bend area doing some camping and canoeing thought you guys might want to come along uh, it's actually not too bad now the rain stopped so let's get going now this trip is uh, just as much about the journey as it is the destination, which is why I'm willing to drive a full day of driving there and back for just one day of canoeing and exploring. But since it's about the journey and not just the destination, I'm not taking any freeways, I'm just taking back roads, which is nice. From my home in uh, Lake Taps, Washington, we're heading south through various highways and we'll be taking a nice forest service road uh, down to the middle of Washington that'll drop us down to the Columbia River Gorge, and from there, south into Oregon, and on to uh, the Bend area. And uh, lots of cool fall colors. It's gonna be a, a great drive, and uh, you're gonna see some great scenery, as will I. off of Highway 12 and Randall heading south now and uh, I love this drive. I'm gonna cut through some uh, fairly remote part of Washington heading down towards the Columbia River Gorge and it's a beautiful drive. Having a great time. Ah, look at that fall color. Nice. Just doing a little exploring on some of these side roads. Although, you could barely call this a road. <laughs> See where this takes us. Probably a little campsite or, or something. Part of the fun of trips like this is just taking a moment to uh, explore, you know? My only itinerary is to get somewhere to camp before dark. So I have a moment to check out some of these side roads. This is pretty cool. This would be a kind of a neat place to camp if a, a little drier, but time to carry on. Take a little pee break and keep it moving. Forest Road uh, 23 is paved for much of it, but there is some dirt. Funny thing is though is uh, the dirt isn't much more rough than some of the pavement. It's, it's a pretty rough road, so you just take it easy. It's all about the scenery. Been climbing for quite a while. There's less fall colors or up in the mountains now. But uh Having a great drive. Cool, we just went over the pass and now we're heading down, 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 heading towards the Columbia River Gorge. Driving in a bit of drizzly mist. it we've made it to the Columbia River for those of you not familiar with the Columbia River this side of the river is Washington the other side is Oregon so we're going to turn east go along the river for a little bit till we get to a bridge to cross and continue south into Oregon okay we're crossing the Columbia River this is an old bridge. Uh, 
that's looking towards the Pacific Ocean. Obviously, miles and miles away. I think like probably 80 miles from here. And that's looking up the gorge. Beautiful. Love the crossing here. for the view around Mount Hood. Hey, the rain stopped again. Yay! Hey. Uh-oh. Luckily, we're in the middle of nowhere, so, you know. Ah, don't worry. I actually got spare gas in the bed, and the gauge is very pessimistic, and we're about 10 miles away from a gas station. It should be just fine. All right, getting ready to drop down into uh, Warm Springs. Thankfully, it's downhill because there, that gas gauge is low. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. No hitchhiking today, but uh, it sure is pretty coming through here. To stop for a moment and check out the river because you know rivers are awesome and I also have to throw a rock in because well that's just what you do there we go the area I'm aiming for to camp tonight is uh, north of Sisters Oregon and originally I was going to take the highway around but looking at Google it looks like I might be able to get through on some uh, secondary roads maybe even their dirt roads uh, going through the Indian Reservation. So we're gonna give it a try. Google sometimes takes me awesome ways and sometimes it's a big, huge backtrack. So we'll see how it goes. again. So far uh, seems to be headed the right direction. Things seem to be working. Which is awesome. So I'd much rather drive a road like this than uh, on the highway. This is just cool. My original plan was to uh, just go out of forest service road somewhere and disperse camp just out in the woods, which is fun. But uh, there was a campground here I wanted to check out, and it's really nice, so I decided to actually pay money and stay here. It has a nice vault toilet and got a nice place for my tent right next to the river. You might be wondering, boy, that's an awfully big tent for one person. Well, let me show you what we got going on here. I don't like being uncomfortable when I camp. So here's what we got. All right, we got a nice cot with multiple sleeping bags. Should keep you plenty warm. Little nightstand. I've got a chair and table in here so that if the weather goes foul, I can cook in here, be perfectly happy, comfortable, and dry. And if it really gets cold, I've got my little buddy heater here I can pull out and a full tank of propane. Oh yeah, and the best thing I forgot to point out is look at my view right out to the river 
and what a beautiful river it is. Oh, I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. <laughs> See, now this is how you tent camp. Hey, good morning. Early to bed, early to rise. Woke up at six this morning, broke camp in the dark, and hit the road. Got a big day today. Gotta to try to get up there and go canoeing. All right, we went through Bend, Oregon. We're climbing up into the mountains now. And, uh, the lake I've been wanting the canoe may or may not have snow. I think it's still going to be snow free, but weather isn't looking that great. It might be a somewhat miserable paddle, but you know what though? I don't mind. I'm starting to get some snow on the road. A little bit slick, but not too bad yet. So this uh, highway gets closed in the winter, and I just went past the gate. So the good news is they haven't closed it yet. I tried checking online and just really couldn't find any information. But the gate's open, so I'm pretty confident we're going to make it to the lake. All right, well, we dropped back down over the pass on the backside of Mount Bachelor, and the snow's clearing up. Look it up. Yes, 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 yes. Very excited. Uh, didn't have a gate closed. I was able to get to the lake. Oh, look at this. It's just very still and peaceful. Oh, this is going to be a great paddle. Got myself settled in here. Pull out the channel here. All right. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now, I like kayaking as well. If you're trying to get somewhere in a hurry or really rough water, or long distance. Yeah, kayaking definitely has its benefits. But if I had to choose just one, I don't know, I really like canoeing. The wind has died down to pretty much nothing. Super glassy. Yep, this is what I wanted. Peaceful day, canoe on a lake. Willing to drive, <laughs> a day's drive each direction to do it because the drive was part of the fun anyways. I got plenty of lakes where I live, but eh, just felt like doing something different. And uh, I've been thinking about this lake for years since the, the one time I did paddle it. It's awesome to be here. Just wow. So out here in the main body of the shallower lake, you got a bunch of little islands. Now they're all protected, you can't land on them. 
They're protected for wildlife. But wow, what a beautiful scene. It's too bad the sun won't pop out. Oh, oh can you see that? There's a good sized salmon right over there. I was prepared for some drizzle. Looks like it's thinking about raining for real. We'll see, I'll give it a little bit. If it starts to rain, I'll probably have to head back as you can see, I'm not wearing super high tech rain gear. Uh, I can be comfortable for a while, so I'm gonna hang out for a little bit and see if it's just passing. But if not, we'll start heading back. Yep, well, as beautiful as this is, eh, it's time to get out of here. It's kind of picking up a little bit. In fact, a moment ago, there's a little bit of sleet mixed in with the rain. A bit of a breeze is picking up. And of course, the breeze changed directions and is now blowing against me heading back to the boat ramp. So we're going to start paddling, get our way back. But it's still absolutely worth it. Very enjoyable. If you ever get a chance to come here, especially in the summertime when it's clear, you got to do it. And today's lesson is just how fast the weather can change. Look at that, we're back dead still. Not a breath of wind, not a drop of water. got loaded up and uh, got the truck warmed up feeling nice and toasty and uh, gonna uh, I randomly pick some place tonight to camp or at least an area to look for a place to camp and uh, we'll go see how that works out got a couple hours of daylight still it's only 12 30. Stopped down here by the John Day River to stretch my legs. I wish I had more time. I'd throw the canoe in. This is gorgeous. But alas, I gotta go find the camp before it gets dark. Well, it's starting to get dark and it's sprinkling a little bit. But the important part is we found a nice, safe, legal place to camp. In fact, it's a, a very unused campground. There's a couple of, only like three, four sites and doesn't look like anyone used them in a while. But at any rate, I uh, got the tent, tent set up. That's the most important part. And uh, we'll get everything else set up here really quick before it gets fully dark. Get ourselves nice and cozy. 
maybe make a little supper, watch a movie. All right. All right. Well, we finished dinner. Got the heater going. Toasting my little feet. Mmm, feels so good and toasty in here. Once we get everything all nice and toasty, I'll turn it down a little bit. And uh, don't worry, I got my vents going a little bit. And uh, we're going to watch a movie. So it's been a really fun weekend. It was a great day. Love going out on the lake. Fantastic drive. I didn't take a whole lot of video, but the, the drive to where I'm at now was really, really fun road. So anyways, we'll see you uh, tomorrow. It's going to be great. You know... Lying in bed, listening to the rain on the tent is so awesome and makes it cozy and snug. But breaking down camp in the rain, uh, that's not going to be fun. Luckily, it's my last day, so I'll just throw it all in the truck, get soaking wet, get that heater going, and get going. Or I can roll back over, go to sleep. Maybe it'll stop long enough to unpack or pack or whatever I'm doing. We'll see. Anyways, for now, I am enjoying it. All right, we're on the road again. Final leg, heading home. Take a look at these uh, trees right here. It gives you an idea of the strength of the wind. Because uh, I gotta say, I'm feeling it with the canoe, the side wind. It actually feels like it's tipping me at times almost. I can feel it kind of shoving the truck around. Light truck, big sail on it. So, I'm taking it a little easy right now. that for a road that's pretty cool take a little break here stretch the legs check out some abandoned house here like a party place for the local teens. <laughs> Don't blame them. Pretty cool. My kind of drive. And we're back down to the Columbia. We're uh, crossing the Columbia a little higher up river than uh, what we did on the way going to uh, Oregon. Come full circle. 
We're about 45 minutes from home. Same place I started this video. Just wanted to, uh, it was a great trip. I uh, saw a lot of variety of beautiful scenery and lots of solitude and great roads and, and some nice camping. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next adventure.